Hi guys, welcome back. Hi guys, welcome back. Right, today we're out in the wilderness. Yeah, so this is off the beaten track. Not many people go down this way. So we're on the hunt for moss, leaf litter, other bits and pieces um, to use in enclosures. The moss will be used in sort of bioactive stuff. So what we're gonna do is have a hunt down um, show you a few places you can go and have a look to uh, find bits and pieces of use for your enclosure. Right, this place is one of our favourite places to go to have a look for stuff. Go across this little stream and then up here. You don't get many people around here so it's off the bait the beaten track but it's perfect to pick up dry leaves moss, up bits and pieces. So, just leads off into a bit of wilderness. Perfect for finding loads of bits and pieces. Haven't been near anybody else. That's what you got to find local um as long as you it's places where like people ain't walking their dogs and we'll pick up stuff that dogs peed all over so hardly anyone comes around here plus it's good to get the kids out and do stuff rather than be stuck on their screens go on take Let's go. Uh, you got stung? Yeah. Out of the water. Yeah, kids are attracted to water. So this, this is a perfect place to look where someone's cut down all these branches, the leaves on them, all nice and dry. They've not been lying on the ground. We can just pick them off. They're all nice and dry. And we'll take them home. Give them a wash. It's a cheap way of grabbing leaf litter. See, this is the perfect place. It's proper over covered. So if you look down, bottoms of trees, absolutely tons and tons of moss. So, you spend your time picking out the greenest bits. Mm. I just said there's like tons Tons and tons of natural resources, it's all free. No one actually goes around here at all. You need to find your own little personal harvest centre to pick up bits of broken twig. Everything can be used in an enclosure as long as it's cleaned and dealt with it in the right manner. As you see, every tree you go to. Gonna be moss. It's tons and tons because the sunlight doesn't get to it. It's just loads and loads of moss to use. Perfect for bioactive setups and high humidity setups like tea blondies, etc. As most of my builds are going. I'm to bioactive now. I'm collecting a lot more because then we can put it in a tub with some cocoa fibre and then grow our own basically and then you just harvest it when you need it.
is our moss farm. Let's see, we've got some cocoa fiber in there. I'm just going to keep it nice and moist, and you can harvest as and when you need it. Also, these are all the leaves picked up, so you can see, just rinse these off. And we're going to put them on an old baking tray and just bake them in the oven, make sure we get rid of any beasties. Same, um, I rinsed off the moss before putting it in the moss garden. But uh, yeah, you take little bits out and then just replace it. I just keep it really nice and moist. Doesn't have to be in direct sunlight or anything. It seems to work and then you just add it to your bioactive builds as and when. It yeah, shows what a hole you can have just by a couple of hours hides walking in the sun. So once we bake this off, I like these ones, they're quite a dark leaf. Mixed with the other ones, they should come out quite well. And these big ones. But yeah, I've just rinsed it all off. Now we're gonna bake it in the oven for about 20 minutes on a medium heat. Uh, dry it out, everything out completely, and then they'll all be ready to use. All right, guys, what you got to do? Get out, find your own little piece of wilderness off the bit and track. So you're well away from any insecticides, um, weed killers, anything that the council might be using. Um, off um, any paths where dogs sort of go and roam that sort of thing so what we're going to do we're going to take home the moss the leaf litter and everything we're going to wash it all off <laughs> and then we're going to uh, put it in a tub with some cocoa fibre and harvest it off um, next to someone building enclosures so what you got to do get out there and find stuff also like um, branches Anything like that can all be taken home, washed, baked in the oven. Quite suitable for any tarantula enclosure. So, get a little bag full of goodies. As usual, this is it from me. As usual, comment down below, like, subscribe, and I'll see you later.